Augustine itemizes what he believes to be four legitimate views of the soul and is not sure which is correct according to the Catholic Church. Apparently, the matter was undecided at the time of his writing. So here they are. The first, propagation brings souls into existence. The second, a soul is created for each person born. The third, souls exist elsewhere and God commands them into a newborn. The fourth, souls attach to bodies at their own discretion. Augustine does, does have a litmus test for determining which is the right view. The view can claim that God's creation is the only changeable form, so I guess that would rule out the idea of the soul evolving somehow. Also, the correct view cannot impute changeableness into the nature of God. I suppose this is because such a view would be at odds with God's eternality. Further, the correct view cannot challenge the Trinitarian nature of the Christian God. To be honest, Augustine doesn't really find this question to be all that interesting. He is not preoccupied with the past. All that matters to him is what belief about the soul allows him to perfectly love God and his neighbor. All I can really say here is that Augustine has an incentive to figure out which view of the soul harmonizes best with his account of the divine order and free choice. Is it obvious that one of these views conflicts with anything he has claimed? Souls attaching to bodies by their own choice might be contradictory, for such freedom might, be, might challenge something of God's dominion, unless God wants it that way. The idea of souls being propagated might add a wrinkle to the notion of punishment being transmitted biologically. If souls propagate, then Augustine might have to modify his account to include the transmission of sin between souls, and if that is possible or the case, this might radically alter Augustine's account writ large. The second and third options on the list, at least at first blush, seem to be the least problematic for Augustine. 